Hello, Nuganites. This is my hastily assembled Round of Eight preview video. If you think this video looks cheap, well, actually, in comparison, it's infinitely more expensive than any of my other preview videos, if you think about it. But yes, this takes place over two days of play. The first day, we will have the first set of each matchup, and the second day, we'll have the second and third sets if they're needed. This is the best of three format for the Round of Eight. The winner of Group A will go on to face the winner of Group B for the semifinals, and uh, alternate is true for Group C and D. Then the winners of the semis move into the finals. Okay, let's talk about Group A a little bit. It's going to be Baby versus Flash. Uh, a lot of people have been calling Baby the new Flash because he's so young. He's about as young as Flash was when he started bursting out into the scene. Actually, probably younger than Flash was, so this is a Baby's defining moment. If he can take down Flash here, he'll probably be able to take this OSL, but that's easier said than done. Flash is a monster, no matter how you look at it. And my prediction of how this series will go? Well, yes, I do think that Flash will continue his termination here, but I do think that Baby will put up a good fight. Moving on to Group B, Pure versus Movie, another mirror matchup. We have three mirror matchups in this round of eight, which kind of looks bad on paper because people want to see uh, a lot of interesting strategies, mixed races. But still, if you think about it, we're going to have each race represented in the semifinals. So I think that's a very exciting thing. And this is going to be a good PvP. These two have gone up against each other couple times in the past and I believe they have a 50-50 record against one another one loss and uh, one win for each. I remember movies win on match point especially against Pure because Pure ended up taking down one of uh, movies nexuses very early. He lost his second nexus very early and he was going to lose the game. But but he came in with storm drops, so many storm drops and he just muscled his way back up into the game. It was very impressive to watch. And as good as Pure is, I think this series will probably go a similar way. Movie has scary good PvP these days. And that will set us up for a semifinals that is actually a nice rematch of the finals from last season. Movie versus Flash. So okay, moving on to Group C, another mirror matchup. Zero versus Effort. ZVZ, always unpredictable matchup. And this used to be Zero's downfall. He would always get to a ZVZ in an important matchup, sometimes in a semi-final position, round of eight position, and he'd always get knocked out, because that used to be his weakest matchup. But now he's dusted off his ZVZ. I think his ZVZ is better than Efforts now, even though Efforts used to be spectacular as well. He has shown weakness in that matchup, and uh, Zero has shown improvement. So I have to give this one to Zero. Definitely have to give this one to Zero. Moving on to Group D, the only match that is not a mirror match, but this is also a nice rematch of the MSL 2008 uh, series between these two, which was a best of five series and one of the best best of fives ever in StarCraft. It was just so wacky because Cal actually ended up using scouts to break out of a contain in one game, and he won that game, actually. So... I'm hoping we see the same level of ridiculousness in uh, this series as well, even though it's not a best of five. Both of these guys have pumped up their play from the time of the MSL 2008. They both look stronger than they were back then, so I'd say this is a pretty tough call. But uh, I think Cal has just been playing consistently better than 4GG and I'm going to have to give him the matchup just because of that fact. So if Cal wins and uh, Zero wins, both my predictions, uh, that would result in a Cal versus Zero semifinal, which would probably be equally, if not better, than the other semifinal I predicted, Movie versus Flash. That would also give us an extremely strong semifinals in general. Um, basically, if any of the players won, it would make a good final. So I'm looking forward to that one. And uh, people probably want to know who I think will make it to the finals. Well, I'll have Easter Domican show you that. Yes, that is my predicted finals for this OSL. Might not turn out this way, but the way the players have been playing, this really does look like the final we're going to get. 
It might go a completely different way, but uh, this, I think the stars are aligned for this final right here. Well, that has been my preview video. I will be back very soon for Round of Ape commentaries. Like I said, it only lasts two weeks, so it's a pretty short term in the uh, tournament. And then we will move on to two weeks of semifinals and then the finals. I can't even believe the finals is creeping up again. But this has been Nuke. See you guys soon.